When you are speaking the truth, it is very easy to keep your arguments straight because there is harmony in the truth. Naturally, the opposite is true. When you are telling lies, it is very hard to keep your arguments straight. In this short video, I will demonstrate that the Watchtower cannot keep its arguments straight. They are making up things as they go, and they are clearly not thinking through what they say. There are a few problems with the following short statement. A short statement that I am positive most witnesses will swallow, hook, line, and sinker without thinking through what was said. So the leaders of Judah actually is a fitting symbol of, the, of Christendom's religious clergy today because they're not warning the people. And that's why the masses don't understand the serious times we're living in. Dear Watchtower members, did you find anything wrong with that statement? Of course not. That is what happens when you trust men completely, refusing to think for yourselves. That is what happens when you assume that someone is correct and should not be questioned. Now let us put on our thinking caps. So the leaders of Judah actually is a fitting symbol of, the, of Christendom's religious clergy today. Who was Judah? God's people. So the leaders of Judah would be the leaders of God's people. If Watchtower theology is correct, who would the leaders of Judah represent today? The leaders of God's people or the leaders of Satan's system of false religion? The correct answer is obviously the leaders of God's people. To simplify for you, the leaders of God's people back then would be representative of the leaders of God's people today, who you see as the faithful and discreet slave, who you see as the governing body. That is strike one against the statement. Strike two. Did Jesus appoint the leaders of Satan's system of false religion to spread the good news of the kingdom, or did he appoint the faithful and discreet slave to do it? So why is he shifting the blame? Because they're not warning the people, and that's why the masses don't understand the serious times we're living in. It is not the responsibility of the clergy of Christendom Satan's system of false religion to make the masses understand the serious times we're living in. That responsibility was given to the slave. So for the slave to be blaming Satan's ministers for not warning people, that is an indictment against the slave for looking to Satan's ministers to do what he was tasked to do. And that's why the masses don't understand the serious times we're living in. Which brings me to strike three. If after 99 years of being appointed, 99 years of door-to-door -door ministry, 99 years of boasting about being the only ones doing the preaching work, 99 years of boasting of faithfully doing the preaching work, the masses are still not aware of the seriousness of the times we're living in, that is a clear statement that the slave has failed miserably in doing what he was assigned to do. Note, the complaint is not that they were warned and are not heeding the warning. Nope, the complaint is that they are not aware, proving the slave a dismal failure over 99 long years. And that's why the masses don't understand the serious times we're living in. Dear Watchtower members, all it takes for you to avoid being deceived by your leaders is to turn your brains on and think for yourselves. Let me give you an example. In 1954, Jehovah's Witnesses were told, Today a worldwide warning is being sounded that a final onslaught will soon be made by Gog of Magog, namely, Satan, together with all his hosts on true worshippers of Jehovah God. 
every Jehovah's Witness who considered themselves to be true Christians accepted that as the truth. Not one of them thought to say, wait a minute, we are told that at the end of the 1,000 years, Satan will be released from the abyss and he will go out to mislead the nations in the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together for war. But how can Satan mislead Gog if he himself is Gog? Therefore, Gog does not refer to Satan in either Ezekiel's prophecy or the book of Revelation. That is very simple, very, very basic reasoning. But did they do that? No. They could not think for themselves, so they waited over 60 years for the watchtower to tell them, not to mention how many of them died believing that. But oh no, they waited over 60 years for the watchtower to now tell them. We are told that at the end of the 1,000 years, Satan will be released from the abyss, and he will go out to mislead those nations in the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together for the war. Revelation 20 verse 8 but how can Satan mislead Gog if he himself is Gog? Therefore, Gog does not refer to Satan in either Ezekiel's prophecy or the book of Revelation. It is up to you, Watchtower members, whether you will allow history to repeat itself on you. Whether you will wait another sixty years or more for the Watchtower to tell you that the leaders of God's people could never represent Satan's ministers in the Bible, or if you will accept the falsehood in that claim today. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all.